redo what they re do redo it. So we have some questions from Facebook. I'm just going to start throwing them out there. If you'd like to sit, please go right ahead. Um, the number one question we have is, which character would you leave Sir Pounds to now? Oh, God. Uh, Everybody wants to know about Pounds. Probably, see, I'm, I'd probably say Bran. Bran? But Bran's going through this whole terrible situation right now. He's not very safe. Sure. So I'd say you're better off on your own. Just chill under my bed. Yeah. Let's see, we're going to do... Had your character not died, what direction do you think he would have taken his kingdom in? See, I think... Uh, I think he probably would have already died. I think he'd have died a different way. It's true. Uh, I Nobody think, lives in the game. Yeah, exactly, long. exactly. And Tommen hasn't really got uh, Tommen hasn't really got his own backbone. He's always constantly getting manipulated. And I think his mum probably would have locked him away. He'd have died. He'd have died straight away. Uh, this question's from Laura on Facebook. Do you feel like you have any traits in common with uh, Tommen? How do you kind of relate to him at all? See, I don't think there's nothing at all. See, firstly, we have a different accent. Tom is really posh, I'm not. Uh, we wear our hair different. Uh, and I think I'm a little bit stronger than Tom. I, I definitely wouldn't have stood for the things Tom did. So I, I think nothing. How, how would you have ruled your kingdom? Um, everyone play the PlayStation. <laughs> Just chill out. What, what games do you play? Are you a gamer? Call of Duty. Big Call of Duty? Big Call of Duty fan. Big Call of Duty. Yeah. I have a question from Kelly, who's on her Facebook Live right now. She wants to know, how did you learn that your character Tommen was going to die? Uh, I got a phone call from the showrunners, David and Dan. Um, and they said, yeah, Dan, you're going to die. I'm really sorry. I was like, oh my god, I was absolutely gutted. Uh, but they didn't tell me how I was going to die. They wanted me to read the script first. And when I read the script, it was like the worst day ever. It was bad. Um, we have a lot of people asking, what house would you put yourself into in Game of Thrones? Uh, Stark. Stark? Yeah, yeah. they're the heroes. Uh, I'm a Stark. be so upset to hear that. Yeah, I'm sorry, but just Stark all the way. <laughs> all the way. Let's see. Do we have any chat questions? Here? Yeah, had, had Tywin lived, yeah. uh, do you think that his eventual fate would have been any different? <laughs> No, someone would have killed him. I think the High Sparrow probably would have had something to do with it. He would have died. It, it would have been a mess. He wouldn't have lasted. No way. Uh, from Kevin, he asked, do you think Tommen will have the same fate in the show when George R. R. Martin finishes writing his books? Do you want to see him have the same ending or something different? Who, Ke uh, Tommen? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you see, I, it's, a, it's, a, it's a terrible death. It's sad. But I, I, I liked his death because... He chose his own death, he chose his own path, whereas, you know, through the whole show he's been constantly manipulated and he's never had a say in anything. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I think keep it as it is. I have a question from someone saying, or it's not really a question so much as a comment, saying that you should have done a flip out of the window, but did you get to have any artistic expression out of, of the fall? Did you get to see how it was going to uh, go? We did try loads of different methods. We tried one where it was more faster, more slower, one standing on the ledge, looking around. We tried to do loads of different ones, but I think they chose that one because they wanted it more of a surprise factor that Tom and they, they didn't want the audience knowing that Tom was going to jump. They wanted the surprise factor. Tanya, you kind of spoke about this a little bit earlier, but yeah. Tanya Maria jo uh, Jorge asks, yeah. uh, what did you think of Tom as a king and the things that he was allowing his mother to do? He's a stupid king. He's a stupid idiot. He's a stu if I was there and I wasn't Tom I'd slap Tom around the face and say, man up. He needed, he needed more guts. He, he needed to rule his own kingdom. And uh, his mother did way too much of that, and his wife. Very cool. Got, got another one? Yeah, did you, uh, a couple people are saying, which uh, character from Game of Thrones do you relate to the most then, if you don't oh. feel anything in common with Tom? That's a hard question, because there's so many. Uh, oh, Jesus. See, I... I I don't know, probably like Jon Snow. I, I'd love to say, I'm not a Jon Snow. Around. Yeah, because he, 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 yeah, I don't know. I'd just say Jon Snow because I want to be cool. Our, our reader, Joan, is asking, do you think that Tommen knew that Robert Baratheon was not his real father? Tommen's real father. I think he did know because I, I, I think I got a note from a director. I'm not too sure it was, <laughs> but they said that the kingdom talks, like all the staff and everyone has bickers and, you know, Chinese whispers. So I think he did, I think he did hear from someone.
Oh, hold on. Someone, I have, we have to address this. Someone's asking if Tommen had a pet, what animal would he have? Oh, Come on, goodness. folks. Well, we already know He's this. He's got a cat. He's got a cat, man. Sir Pounce. Jesus. Sir Pounce is the way to go. Uh, Mary Catherine is asking, what is your next acting adventure? What are you looking forward to doing next? I recently did two movies this year. One's called The Commuter, which is like an action film. And one's called Breathe, which is a, it's a true story. Uh, and I also have two movies next year. So that's all good. And we have one more question. Uh, actually, I would like to ask. Go ahead. Yeah, go on. So, what's your favorite scene that you filmed during Game of Thrones? Oh, man. Uh, it's hard. I mean, I, I, I really enjoyed the scene with Tywin and Joffrey and Cersei where Joffrey's on the deathbed. I really enjoyed that. Awesome. Well, that is all the time we have for yeah. today. If you guys want to say goodbye, well, thank you. Facebook. Thank you. Goodbye, guys. Thanks for watching.